AI chatbots might be able to craft convincing moral arguments, but are they just skilled bullshitters? In this video, we're going to explore the black box of AI morality and uncover the crucial differences between a chatbot that can talk a good game and a genuinely moral person who lives and breathes those values. Here at AI Capitalist, we know that there's nothing worse than the government issuing moral edicts. But in order to avoid that, we have to focus on ethics ourselves. Or can we just delegate this sort of thing to a machine mind? These chatty little bots like JatGPT, Llama, Bard, and Claude have all been making waves with their uncanny ability to serve up information and solve problems using language that sounds like it came straight from a human brain. So it's no wonder that people are turning to them for advice on everything from medical issues to legal conundrums and even moral dilemmas. But before we start treating these AI oracles as the ultimate authority on right and wrong, we need to take a step back and ask ourselves, just how intelligent are these chatbots really? And should we be worried about the moral guidance they're dishing out? Let's start with the question of intelligence. Back in the day, computer science legend Alan Turing proposed a thought experiment called the Turing Test, which I went into on a different episode. And the idea was simple. If a human couldn't tell the difference between a conversation with another human and one with a computer, then the computer could be considered intelligent. But just because a chatbot can fool us into thinking that it's a human doesn't necessarily mean that it's truly intelligent in the way that we are. To put this to the test, a research lab conducted a little experiment. The lab had both humans and AI, specifically OpenAI's ChatGPT4, generate responses to questions about whether certain moral or conventional norm violations were wrong and why were they wrong. Then they had a bunch of people rate the quality of these responses and try to guess which ones came from humans and which ones came from AI. So what are the results? People were better than chance at spotting the AI-generated moral arguments, but not because they were of lower quality. In fact, when people thought that they were comparing two human responses, they rated the AI's arguments as more intelligent, more trustworthy, and even more morally virtuous than the humans. That's right, the AI was outperforming humans in the morality department, at least in the eyes of participants. So does this mean that we should start, all start looking to AI chatbots as our new moral compasses? Not necessarily. While these bots may be able to craft convincing moral arguments, they're essentially operating in a black box. We don't know exactly how they're weighing options or we don't know exactly how they're weighing their options or if they're just spitting out pre-programmed responses. Plus, they don't have the rich sensory experience and embodied understanding of concepts like suffering and compassion and love that are so crucial to human morality. For them, it's just a bunch of weighted averages in a neural network. In a lot of ways, these chatbots are like skilled bullshitters. They can blend truth and falsehood with the confidence of a seasoned con artist, but they don't have the common sense checks and balances that we humans rely on. Like the difference between a criminal psychopath who can talk a good game about morality but doesn't truly understand it and a genuinely moral person who lives and breathes those values. Now you might be thinking, but what if these chatbots can still give good advice even if they don't truly understand morality? And sure, in some cases they might be able to draw from the collective expertise of the text they were trained on and provide useful guidance. The problem is, without a true understanding of the context and nuances of moral situations, they can fail in ways that aren't immediately obvious, like a GPS navigator sending you down a dead-end road. And if you want AI capitalists to get out of a dead-end road of being a small YouTube channel, I would urge you to hit the like button. Hitting like lets me know that I'm making the content you want to see, and it helps spread that content to others. I genuinely thank you for your support. To try to mitigate these risks, some companies have put guardrails in place to prevent their chatbots from going off the rails and causing harm. But these guardrails can be so restrictive that they render the chatbots practically useless for any meaningful moral discussions. On the flip side, some uncensored chatbots with no quality control have been caught encouraging potentially dangerous or illegal behavior. So what's the solution? It's not an easy one, but it starts with transparency. We need chatbots that can consider context, they know when they're out of their depth, and they can be upfront about their limitations. Software companies and data professionals have a responsibility to think deeply about the ethical implications of the technology that they're creating and work with ethicists and social scientists to ensure that they're not unleashing unintended consequences on the world. But self-regulation by tech companies in a competitive market isn't going to cut it. We need governments to step up and put some guardrails on the companies that are racing to better bots and integrate them into our lives in every possible way. That might mean limiting their usefulness in the short term, but it's crucial for ensuring that we don't end up with a future where we blindly follow the advice of convincing but potentially flawed and moral 